so we're back again we're now another NBA 2k19 my team gameplay and yes you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail i seem to be saying this a lot but we did add another new pink diamond and that pink diamond is none other than pink diamond grand hill a lot of people say that this is the best one you can get out of the token market so we're gonna have to find out from some gameplay so first things first i actually really like the card art 97 overall pink diamond small forward he's six foot eight i didn't even realize how tall he was so six foot eight is very good 99 offense 96 on defense but the biggest thing i added a diamond shoe to him and this diamond shoe makes him so much better because you guys are about to see the stats with the shoe and it's just absolutely crazy so first of all 98 driving lab which is insane 83 post fade with the shoe which is actually also nice then a 92 three ball 97 across the board for the mid range but the biggest thing about the shoe is it gives a plus five to the open shot three so it goes from an 86 to a 91 which is a huge jump then 87 free throw as well but one of the best things about grand hill probably the best thing is how athletic he is he has a 96 driving dunk and 90 contact dunk the shoe also gives him 91 ball control really good passing like he could run in a point guard good defense too again with the shoe the steal goes up to a 98 and also very good rebounding at six foot eight he should pull down a few but grant hill is always the fastest small forward in the game with 97 speed 93 speed with ball just blows my mind 99 excel with the shoe again 97 vertical 97 stamina 96 lateral quickness all the defense is very good pretty much all of it in the 90s this card is going to be a monster and you guys already know that his dunking tendencies actually aren't the best but i have played a few games on stream and he's got so many dunks for me 90 flashy dunks should be good though and the system proficiencies are extremely good across the board all in the 90s and then it comes with seven hall of fame badges as well this is how good the card is including one man fast break pick dodger pick and roll maestro relentless finisher acrobat tyler score and posterizer 19 gold badges as well although i did add a few he comes with catch and shoot difficult shots limitless range which is one i added deep range dead eye added too but dimer hustle rebound defensive stopper mid-range dead eye bruiser and corner specialist i think you guys can see by the stats he looks like quite possibly the best guy in the game. I got him as my fourth pink diamond, and to be honest, I probably should have got him a little bit earlier. But yeah, this is the team we're going to be rocking with for the gameplay, and I'm extremely excited to use this team because, I mean, it looks pretty insane. But yeah, this gameplay is fully based around this pink diamond Grand Hill. Also, before we get into the game, I just thought I'd say I stream pretty much every single day with this team. So if you do want to see more gameplay with Grand Hill and the rest of my team, be sure to follow me so you can see that. I just finished going 12-0 again, so hopefully we can do that once more. Without further ado, let's get into the first game. And we found our first opponent. My opponent's not rocking the best team, so we should be able to get a win. And it's a little bit annoying because our jerseys are pretty similar, but I think we should be able to notice the difference. But you guys know, in this gameplay, I'm just going to feed this man right here. Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all right. That always happens at the start. I ain't too mad. We're just going to feed him once again. And I don't know, he has a lot of speed with ball. So maybe we should actually be able to get some blow bars with this card. We're going to have to try our best. And I might have to chill just for one second. I'm not really playing the best. Just go past him with your speed. Going up there, will he make that one? The answer is no, but let's kick it out to him. Maybe for the three. Going with the left hand. Going up with the lane. Good release gets it to go. I always find it a little bit more difficult to do gameplays with small forwards just because I find it hard to feed the ball to him. But when he's getting dunks like that, it's too easy. Might be able to get a steal with him here. Oh, okay. Okay, just passed it a little bit early, but I want to see his defense, although he's not allowing me to have that opportunity. But we do get the steal. Let's just watch his speed. Watch him running up here. He's got too much speed going all the way. Easy layup. And we're just getting some consecutive stops now, which is extremely nice. Going up there, will he make that? Of, of course. Oh, and he gets a steal as well. Can we run up and just get the dunk on Kyrie? Or he's just too fast and gets it to go. My defense just really has him in the best. So hopefully we can give it to Grand Hill and hopefully he can just continue to score for us on offense. As we're going to go up here, is he going to finish that one? Dude, he's so good going to the rack. My defense on this possession is looking a little bit better as he should miss that. And we can just run this ball out with Andre Kirilenko because he has very good ball control. Kick it to Grand Hill. Take the three. His first one. It's a bucket. And that's the thing. With his speed on fast breaks, he seriously gets so many open shots. But okay, well, that one wasn't open. Yep. He still made it. I don't know what I'm even thinking defensive-wise. If I play this badly defensive-wise every game, I'm never winning another game of 2K. We get free throws there. And his free throw release is actually pretty good as I did a bad one there. He made it though. And with an 87 free throw, he doesn't miss too many. Going for the second one there makes both. We get a steal. Paul Pierce has a wide open bucket, but you guys know I'm kicking it back to Grand Hill for the jam. I know this might be weird, but I want to call a pick and fade with him. I don't know how this is going to go, but we kick it out to him. He's on the drive and that's a weird layup. I thought he was going to go for the dunk. We get the bucket though he is he gonna guard the baseline good enough i don't think he will if we just go baseline just try okay maybe maybe he maybe what bro i don't even know what to say and we got a steal there guess who's the first player out it's grand hill we're gonna go with the left hand we're gonna go with the spin and that is just absolute money oh yeah we got a steal guess who's running out we've got grand hill trailing behind and that's a terrible shot why did i do that we got the rebound straight after though calling a pick and roll could have just taken the three straight away but let's call the pick take the three that's a bucket oh 
focused. Might need to focus a little bit more on defense because my offense is looking all right because Grant Hill's just doing absolutely everything. But as for defense, it's not going too well. Grant Hill, get what? I seriously wish I could just cut out the last two minutes of gameplay as he should have got that steal there. I just didn't focus enough. And he's still playing very good defense on this DeMar DeRozan. But as for shots I've been taking, they have been absolutely terrible as he makes that one there. And that's the reason why it's a three-point game. Let's try and kick it to him here. Probably not the best option, but that's just what I've been doing the whole time. He's calling double teams because he knows I'm trying to do a gameplay. But that's fine because we'll just try and get the scores every single time. I'm going to grab assists if that's what you're going to do. Kicking it back out to him here. Not, bro, what is, what, what, what am I? I Grand Hill bails me out. I literally think I took about seven contested shots in a row. That one's not though. And when I say contested, I seriously mean it. I'm saying like heavily contested. As he tried to draw a charge there, that was actually a pretty good play because it really did slow me down. But kicking it back out to him here, maybe could have just taken that three, but let's call it pick and roll and then probably take a three straight after. It's wide open. And you know what? It's a bucket. He's missing a few shots now just because he's getting a little bit tired because I haven't called any timeouts or any subs. So that's on me, but we are probably going to get a score here if he just runs out to the three point line there. Not too sure what he was doing. I'll take you out to the three-point line yourself and then take the three for you and yes now i'm chasing but i know a lot of people do want to see this grand hill at point guards so that's exactly what we're doing and i'm feeding it out to him going with the right hand versus Kyrie, which is a pretty easy matchup we're going to get his first assist because it's too easy so with him at point guard all you got to do is just call these pick and fades kick it back to dan Issel, back to my man going with the left hand can we get the poster that's Bro, literally, I've never seen him get stuffed on a dunk, but as soon as I try and record a gameplay and show you guys his dunks, he gets stuffed twice in the game, same game. I'm a little bit confused, but anyway, that probably should have been a steal there. We're going to run up, try and get that steal. Unfortunately, he did pass. What about another steal? Nah, you're not making that shot. We're running out with Grand Hill. He's got the speed. He doesn't expect me to take the two and we make, but... I want that to be a three. Grand Hill with another steal. Maybe we can get a three on this one. No, nah, no. Nah, we're just going to try and take it on LeBron. Probably a tough take there, but guess what? He'll make it. I'm going to lie. I think this whole game I've been underestimating how good my opponent is. That is such a nice move though. And somehow he makes it. Oh, what a block there. And he's got the speed. We should be able to... He's got 93 speed with ball. That's just too much. And the dunk too. I thought he was getting blocked, but it's Grand Hill. Of course he's not. I want to kick it back to him here for a wide open three. Let's just take it. And it's wide open. And it's in. Of course. We're on 51 points right now. And I'll be more than happy if we're able to get over 70. So that's just 19 at least more. And is that a turnover? No, it isn't. We're just going to go straight past Boogie. Straight up. Get the another dunk. If Dan Issel sets me a good screen here, we've got the easiest of... Okay, we've got the easiest of buckets anyway. There it is. Oh my word. We just got to steal on Kyrie as well. And you guys know his speed's too much. And one dog. Guess what? He's not missing the free throw too. Green light on that. This man is seriously about the cheesiest point guard you can have in this game. Because he can seriously do everything a point guard can do at a small forwards level. As he jumped up there, which isn't good enough. We're going to be getting free throws. Oh, that was a flagrant. Okay, I'll even take that. So he'll make both free throws, of course. And that's for point number 60. Then we'll give him the ball right here. We'll go on the drive. We'll try and posterize or just get more free throws. At least when I run him at point guard, I actually get to show a little bit of his defense. That was really good getting over the screen there. And he did a bad alley-oop. It was a bad pass. It was a good option, but just a bad execution. We're going in. Great execution by Grant. And we get another steal. Guess what? Grant Hill, first player out. First player getting the score. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I definitely prefer him at point guard to get scores. But when I play normally at small forward, he's just a monster. Because he can do that every single time. This is for point number 69. And it's come so quickly. He doesn't miss from the line. That's an inbound steal. Point number 70. Give it to me now. There we go. I'm low-key thinking right now that there could be a chance we'll be able to get 80. As I don't want to take that shot, there's no way we will with that. But if I'm taking that one... 74 let's go we just need six more points and that's it that was so nearly a backcourt violation can he make the lightly contested only three more points now i'm just thinking to myself now i so should have caught this card earlier he's definitely one of the best pink diamonds that you can select because he's just able to do everything that was another flagrant what okay i'll take it i guess <laughs> for point number 79 he doesn't miss from here uh, maybe he does now he just needs two more points for 80 so let's try and get it here Giannis, you can't defend me let's actually try a signature drill move all right let's pull it up and signature drill move Move. is it explosive i mean it looks okay if he puts it in that left hand and then we go with the right maybe that might work maybe we can go inside get more free throws of course i need you to make both of these for 80 there's no way you miss another 79 points for point number 80 good release bucket okay i need a good pass here and then we've got an easy bucket okay he went up with the left but it still counted we had another steal and if grand hill just uses a bit more of his speed okay he's very tired now which is why he can't but going against Giannis here using the muscles not the greatest opportunity there but it's a good pass because that's the thing he has very good passing stats as well that's why he can actually 
running on point guard. Good ball control as well. Let's pump fake that one. Going with the left hand. Going up there. Two more. Count it. And yeah, with three seconds left on the clock, we are going to end up winning this game by 37 points. That's right. And I'll tell you what, you're about to see. Grant Hill played absolutely insane. In 20 minutes with 84 points, one assist, five steals, one block, zero turnovers. Shot 33 of 49, which is such a good percentage. Seven of 10 from three, obviously 70%. 11 of 12 from free throw two, almost 100%. Had a 37 plus minus, nine dunks was responsible for 86 of our points. Beastly performance. And to think that I had a stage in that game where I missed like eight shots in a row because I was taking terrible ones, that tells you how good he is. But now I really want to see how good he is when I play normally with the team, play him his normal minutes. I forgot to mention as well, I do have Diamond Steve Kerr, which you can see down there, gives all those bonuses to Grant Hill. So it gives him a 96 open shot three. So I think that's the reason he shot 70% from three, but I want to see if he can back it up in the second game. Let's get to it. And thankfully my next opponent is rocking a much better team. So this should be a much better game. And I actually haven't gone against Pink Diamond to Kimbe very often. So this should be a good game to see how he actually plays. And it looks like he does off ball a little bit by the looks of things. So let's see how this goes. Let's kick it to Dikembe first possession. Back out to Grant Hill. Probably not the best play there. Definitely not the best play, but he misses the shot. We do grab the rebound. Going up with the second take and making that. This is one of Grant Hill's first touches of the ball. Let's see what he can do on Dikembe. Of course, getting free throws again. No matter how good the defender is, he still seems to do it. Missing the first. To be honest, that was because of my bad release. Let's get a better release. And of course, he'll make. On the drive this time again, what about Willis Free? Rest in peace. Okay, this is a wide open three. Definitely should make that. Bucket, of course. What a block there. And we get a first rebound with him as well. Let's try and run it up. We have to finish off this play. Grand Hill going up. Lay up. I'll take it though. I was just scratching my face and still got that steal. And we hit the three. I did just notice my opponent's definitely a good player as well as he does have Michael Finley on the court, but we do as well. And my bench is on the floor. So let's just go in with Baron Davis here. And what a finish by him. And as my bench did play pretty well, we're actually holding this lead pretty nicely as the starters are back on the floor. Kicking it to Grand Hill straight away. We're on the fast break, pulling the three right into Kimbe's face and he misses. Okay. I think my opponent's just wanting to quit out this game. The clock's about to run out. He, he already quit. GG. To be honest in that game, I can't even remember how many points Grant Hill had. I think he had under five, but it was still a pretty good game for him. Just because, as I said, that second game, the only thing that we want is the win, and that's exactly what we got. Even though Grant Hill hardly touched it, when he did have the ball, he still put it in work, and on defense, his direct opponent hardly scored. I couldn't ask for much more. So yes, the question is, out of the five ping diamonds from the token market, so you can either get John Stockton, Paul Pierce, to Kimbe Mutombo, ping diamond Tim Duncan, and obviously Grant Hill. The question that you guys might be asking is this the best one now it's actually a really tough decision but i think what i would say is i do recommend him to be the first one that you get because the thing is grant hill can run a point guard shooting guard and small forward also maybe power forward without any issues because if you give him the shoe and give him a 91 three ball then also have diamond steve kerr that goes up to a 96 the ball control also goes up to a 96 98 steel as well he can play point guard without a doubt shooting guard also without a doubt and of course his main position small forward is a beast at so it really does come down to personal preference as as to which one you want to get but i think for probably about 70 percent of people this grand hill is the best option the thing is you really can't go wrong with either going paul pierce or to kimbe too because i think they're my other favorites on my squad and unfortunately i can't say anything about this tim duncan yet just because i don't have him so yeah i'm hoping that made sense this card's an absolute monster so i do recommend him as he definitely won't disappoint so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash that like button if you do as i said i got this card on stream so if you guys do want to follow my twitch and see daily gameplays with these cards it is linked down down below so is my instagram and twitter and be sure to subscribe if you're new and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye